how's it going everybody it is orange and we are back with a brand new series so for those of you who haven't been around my channel before um i got over 40 plus episodes and do over seven four golden let's play before i ended up stopping uploading episodes that simply just because of the fact that the editing took a really long time but i finished that game and absolutely loved it um i have played uh, Persona 5 and Persona 5 Royal. I was curious about Persona 5 Strikers for a little while because of the fact that I heard that it is a bit different from a standard Persona game. Like, I feel like I heard that it's a lot of like a hack and slash, which I'm kind of interested by. Uh, I've also heard that Persona 5 Strikers it takes place like around seven months or so after the like events of Persona 5. So this could be considered like somewhat of a sequel to Persona 5. So yeah, uh, I've been curious about it for a while and figured that I could try it out because it was on sale uh, for the winter sale and I also got some Steam Boot cards so I was able to spend those on it. Oh, no you don't. Um, but yeah, I'm deciding to do a let's play of it just because why not. And yeah, let's get into the game. Allows you to experience the game with, uh, in English. That thing isn't a storm trooper.
Hell yeah. I'll never get over the aesthetic of this game. Only feels like that because you always forget to reply to our text. Wait, really? I mean, I've just got a lot of stuff to do. I suppose it's been a little while for me too, hasn't it? For me as well. I had no money, so... <laughs> you scam moment. A uh, long time to see. How is everyone? I'd say I'm doing well. It's quite late, though. Shouldn't you all be studying for finals? No, I'm fine. Unlike Ryuji. Stop, stop. I'm already dead. Anyways, here's what I really wanted to say. Since it's almost summer vacation, why don't we get together? Not a bad idea. Yeah, you guys want to go on a trip? That sounds like fun. Perhaps Kyoto. That would be a nice place for a vacation. No way. Kyoto trips are for high schoolers. Sweet. We should get together some... <laughs> Aren't we in... Are we in high school? <laughs> Futaba? <laughs> Who knows? Uh, we should get together somewhere and plan this out. Where at? Where else? Let's meet at our usual spot. I'm assuming LeBlanc. And next on the agenda is the series of incidents involving unusual behavior in public. Hmm. He's important. He looks kind of like Maruki, you not know, gonna lie. Like, obviously not the hair, but like the sprite generally. First, we have the Vice Minister of Finance. As you're all aware, he had some sort of episode during a diet session Q&A and abruptly confessed to document tampering. Hmm. Soon after that, three Sapporo Central Councilmen confessed to bribery and publicly resigned. Next, the well-known author Mr. S. He held a press conference and announced he was retiring from writing, returning his book's awards, and deeming his body of work garbage. Then, a newscaster suddenly got down on one knee, confessed his love for his co-anchor on live TV, proposed to her, and got shot down. Lastly, the Director General of Criminal Affairs unexpectedly stripped off his clothing and ran around HQ until successfully detained. <laughs> I take it that this is probably the guy that's causing those things, but either way, that is pretty funny. Something amusing to you, Inspector Hasegawa? Uh, no. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> the vast majority of these cases have been interpreted as nothing more than bizarre outbursts, but time and again, every instance involves a sudden change in personality. Furthermore, none of the individuals involved had any known psychological issues before their incidents. Therefore, we can surmise that these cases are the result of an external influence. Aren't these just coincidences? Are you really implying someone out there is using mind control? The cases I listed are only a small sample of this behavior, which appears to be happening across the entire nation. Hmm. Sounds like the Phantom Thieves to me. You just went out and said it. it could be interesting. I want silence! Proceed with the report. Thank you, Commissioner Kabaragi. As you've realized, or at least as one of you realized, these cases are very reminiscent of last year's change of heart epidemic. Wow. They straight up are referring to it as an epidemic. That's interesting. The top brass have concluded that this is indeed the work of the Phantom Thieves. <laughs> what? It's probably not us, which is, you know, because all of, or not all of, but most of the examples that they listed didn't necessarily seem like changes of heart in like, oh, like, changing my mind about something and like readjusting towards justice no it's like i'm gonna take my pants off and run <laughs> run around the office sort of deal like that that doesn't really that doesn't line up so i'm assuming that that's probably what it is that the game is trying to have us assume at this point hmm. but what evidence is there no one's even established a pattern and we don't have any sort of motive so far doing it for kicks is the only thing that it explain it you will investigate each of these incidents yourselves, as quickly as possible. What I expect from each of you are two things. One, to assemble enough evidence for a successful case. Two, to do so as quickly as humanly possible. The higher-ups are hell-bent on closing this case. I do not know why, it does not matter. All that matters is producing results. Your suspect is the leader of the Phantom Thieves. Show me a thorough investigation of his entire life. Jesus. <sighs> so, the Phantom Thieves rise again. It's 
been a while since we rode this to Young and Jaya, huh? Indeed it has. Now for today's train news, today's headlines are Confession of Document Tampering, the Diet is in Chaos, a leader of the Vice Minister of Finance's confession, and the power struggles have flared. Members of the Vice Minister's party have refused to comment have refused to comment across the board while the country awaits his government summons. In business news, fledgling IT company Maddox. Reported record first quarter profits at a conference earlier today. Madison's earnings have exploded largely in part due to their new virtual assistant, which, if stocks are any indication, is gaining fans fast. I wonder why. We're almost there. We haven't seen everyone in so long. If I'm assuming. I know it's stupid, but I'm getting kind of nervous. Can I talk, Morgana? No, I'm joking. But um, I'm assuming that that new AI is probably the person. Seeing it in the intro that was like in the TV and stuff like that. Um, we haven't seen anyone in so long. I know this is stupid, but I'm getting kind of nervous. True. This is gonna be awesome. Yeah. When the Phantom Thieves come together, it's never anything less. Straight up, bro. Ooh, we finally made it. I do feel I should say ahead of time that. Uh, I have seen absolutely nothing, like, story-related hey, to this hey. game. Uh, there's only a few things that I've heard about regarding it, which is the fact that it seems like it's a sequel to Persona 5. Um, I think that Persona 5 Royal was in development at the same time as this, so I think that, like, I'm not really sure what I should consider canon at this point, but, um, I've heard that this is supposed to be the sequel, or can be considered a sequel to Persona 5, um, and I've also just heard that it's a hack and slash. Um, I've also heard that there might be a little bit less of, like, the social link stuff in this game. I, uh, because I feel like that's kind of the main focus in, um, like, the other Persona games. But, um, we'll see. Uh, I'm interested either way. Uh, especially just because of how much this game, not, not Strikers in particular, but just, uh, Persona 5 in general, uh, has impacted me. So, it's cool to be able to see the game. So, let's go to the Post haste. I wonder how the cheese will make uh, location icons. Yeah, exclamation mark. Uh, where it will advance. Okay. So, can I go to the dog? That's a real question. So. See you later. Okay. So. Mm hmm. Get you or what? <laughs> <laughs> we missed ya. It's been a while. Did you get taller? <laughs> Looks like you've been doing fine. <laughs> you too, Morgana. Mm. Meow. <laughs> it's gotten hot. Oh, you you some nice coffee? Coffee? Hey, for hey you guys hungry? Oh, is practically purring. Yeah, bro, <laughs> you let's go. <laughs> Boy, were you surprised. You guys did all that for us? <laughs> Talk about a greeting. <laughs> we hadn't seen you in so long, we knew we had to do something. We figured the best way to get you was to have Boss let us in early. Hell yeah. Well, you're looking sharp. Ooh, both Futaba and Yusuke have a bit of like a trench coat. Uh, not exactly trench coat, but I guess a long coat, maybe. 
thing going, which I actually like quite a bit. I'm sharp. <laughs> I'm just gonna say a long time to see, but man, did you get even older? That's uh, that's a funny option. I hear you. Even though it's only been a couple of months, it feels like it's been a real long while. Yeah, I'm sure you all have plenty of catching up to do, but I gotta open up soon. Go ahead and take it upstairs. After all, it's your room. Have a hey. good time. Let's go. No problem. You can just pay me back working the counter. <laughs> Deal. Now, thieves, to the hideout. <laughs> Great. Just when I was enjoying the peace and quiet. Real wild, you're pretty soon. Seriously, no. It's not a joke. Never fails to disappoint. You really never change. You won three of my finals in one day, too. I'm really freaking out. Not, not much has changed for Rigi. I had so many makeup lectures in a row, I almost wasn't able to come over today. <laughs> then I win. I only flunked one final. You two are the same as always. Can't you at least take your classes a bit more seriously? Ooh, watch out. Miss President's gonna unleash her fist of justice. Jeez. Can you please forget about that already? <laughs> so is college life all it's cracked up to be? Yes, it's going well. I've been using the time to take care of the core curriculum. I've been busy too, but it's also a lot of fun. For example, I've learned how to selectively breed certain vegetables. Nice oh, sorry. <laughs> oh -ho! Yielded any results yet? Yusuke, of all the people here, would be the person that's actually interested in Boy, <laughs> that got his interest. Wait, aren't you in the management program, though? Yes, but students are allowed to take courses beyond their own programs if they feel so inclined. They even offer agricultural science courses. You can learn all sorts of neat things, like the correlation between soil nutrients and yield. Gah, that'd put me to sleep in a minute flat. <laughs> and you, Fataba? How's school been for you? <laughs> Too easy. At this point, the only hellish parts are the commute and PE. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Praise me more. Keep it coming. <laughs> well, how about you then? You're the one we're most curious about. You doing okay back home? Hell yeah. What a coinky dink Me too. Well, I've been getting by too, but... Without you around, it's sort of like stuff is just kind of bleh. God, Ryuji's voice, I will never get over how good Ryuji's voice actor is. It's actually just insane. Of course, he's, he's our leader. It's only natural. That's right. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Once a phantom thief, always a phantom thief. Yes, sir. Well, let's say we start coming up with summer vacation plans. Anyone have any ideas? Oh, right! We should figure that stuff out! You're fine to stay here through all of vacation, right? Well, how about a trip, guys? Come on, we've got a whole month to rage! Um, aren't you forgetting about your homework? Blah. <laughs> not only do you have homework, but you're third years now. You need to start thinking not just about graduation, but post-graduation. Uh, no, stop! Don't bring that up. Not now, please. <laughs> Ryuji never changes. Back to the topic at hand. If I may suggest Kyoto, I'll find an abundance of inspiration if we tour each temple and shrine. Oh, the sheer wealth of beauty I can witness in a whole month. I can hear the treasures of our history calling to me. Yeah, if it's a month-long art tour, I'm totally gonna pass. I do not believe it. A trip does sound nice, but... What if we all went camping first? We can all go hiking and stuff during the day, and even throw together a barbecue at night. B -b barbecue Aren't those always b big gatherings for people who socialize IRL? <laughs> Sounds fun. You can leave the firewood chopping to me. Yeah, yeah, we can. <laughs> we can summer off right with a barbecue buffet. Sounds badass to me. <laughs> How about you? Look for decent marbling in the cuts. That's how you get the real good stuff. Trust me on this. It does sound rather fitting for the summer. I like the idea, but we'll need an awful lot of vegetables to balance it out. Huh. 
A barbecue is one of the few things in this world that can pull me away from art. Our history's treasures can wait a bit longer. <laughs> Choosing food over art? You sure your priorities are solid there, Inari? All right, our first reunion party has been unanimously decided. We're going camping. And with that settled... Emma, list recommended camping gear. I have compiled a list of items recommended for camping. <laughs> there was a sporting and travel goods store near 705 in Shibuya. Customer reviews rate this as the best relevant store in your area. Ooh, what's that? The virtual assistant, Emma. You haven't heard of it yet? Oh, I think I have. It knows, like, basically everything and does all sorts of stuff for you, right? It's just serious. Oh, yeah! It's got this, uh, that eye that, that thinks for it. That right? actually probably makes sense. Given the metaverse is, like, the materialization of, like, the public's cognition, I wouldn't be surprised if when we go into the metaverse, because of the fact that people see this device as this helper, it might materialize inside of the metaverse as, like, a helpful thing. <laughs> we'll see if my head theory is right. I think you mean AI, not an I. Right. It stands for artificial intelligence. It can search all kinds of databases, conduct navigation, manage your schedule, even talk out logic problems and stuff with you. So it's a little bit more advanced than Siri and stuff like that now, because, I mean, it won't, like, talking out logic problems. I mean, maybe I just haven't messed around with, like, Google Assistant stuff enough. The makers go on about how you can ask it anything and you'll get the best possible answer. I remember seeing a demo of one on TV the other day. They were showing off its functions and talking about how it's the next big thing. Yep, that's it, all right. Pretty solid tech, considering it's roughly a thousand times smarter than Ryuji. <laughs> Shut up! You sound kind of cool, though. <gasps> I think you tell us where all the best ramen shops are. Yeah, you should all download it. I'm telling you, it's the bee's knees. I suppose it'd at least be handy if we ran into any trouble while camping. That's a good idea. Why don't you get it too? Hello. This is Emma. I am pleased to meet you. Please provide me your name. Oh, that's that's pretty that's pretty slick. Okay, um Do I want to go with the like original character's name again? Or do I just want to come up with something? Um, hmm. I think I'm gonna go with the default name. I think that I'm probably doing it backwards, but who knows. Virtual assistant. Looks like you've got it figured out. I sent you all friend requests. Please don't blow them off. Displaying recommended camping items. So Emma came up with all that? Impressive, no? And it's not just random junk for sale either. It takes into account the season, the weather, your personal profile, and even your location for all its recommendations. For real? Damn, that thing's eye is crazy. AI, not an I. I was gonna say. Well, should we split up and buy everything Emma's listed for us? Oh, can't we do it tomorrow? It's so hot out. I bet 
what this guy's beat from the traveling too. We just went through all the effort to meet up at the hideout, yeah? So let's make the most of it. Indeed. I have an absolute plethora of discussion topics for us to mull over, particularly matters such as modern art and the possibilities within it in our current age. Yeah, anything but that. <laughs> for treating us all to curry, boss. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Just think of it as sort of a welcome back gift. Plus, with this guy hanging around again, it'll be nice feeling like old times. Same here. <laughs> Thanks again. We'll be back soon. Well, see you tomorrow. You know, it was nice talking after so long. Ryuji, man. Okay, let's get to shopping first thing tomorrow. Yeah, we gotta get everything Emma listed up for us, right? Then we should meet up by the Buchiko statue in Shibuya. See you then. Don't go forgetting, okay? And don't go forgetting about helping out behind the counter either, okay? <laughs> bit rusty at first, but I helped out around the cafe before returning to my room. Hmm. Exhausted from the excitement today. Hey, Joker. Go the fuck to sleep, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> the typical Morgana, honestly. Uh, you can save your current progress uh, when the Y save is displayed at the lower right of the screen. <laughs> awesome. Let's go on ahead and save here. I'll create a second save file just because why not? And I think that I'm might call it an episode here. I'm not sure. I'm also just gonna actually check and make sure that like. I have, I've been recording this whole time. Um, I think that I shouldn't be having any issues, but just wanting to double check. Uh, let's see. Yeah, alrighty. I think that that does work out. So I hope that you guys enjoyed. If you did, feel free to leave a like below, subscribe if you're new. Um, I'm not gonna guarantee that I'll finish the Let's Play on this channel. It's kind of similarly to like Persona 4 Golden, where, like, I got, like, 42 episodes in, like, with, like, 40 of them or something being, like, daily uploads, uh, because I feel like I might just burn myself out doing that, but, uh, I do plan on finishing the game, and, yeah, um, hope that you guys enjoyed, though, and I think that's just about it. Um, for those of you who are new to the channel, usually what it is that I upload is, like, just kind of whatever I feel like, um, the majority of my stuff is Minecraft content where I've uploaded like 1.8 uh, and 1.7 like montages. Um, I'm also working on some Pokemon Nuzlocke stuff in the background. And also I've been playing some Wizard 101, which uh, might be a nostalgia trip for some viewers, but um, I've been trying to beat Wizard 101 with only the Bizarre Gear. In which bizarre gear is like kind of just like basically assist essentially the worst gear that you can get like usually in rpgs like you'll farm bosses for really good gear and bizarre gear is basically all of like the junk gear that you get from street mobs <laughs> but i mean hey this has been going all right so far um so if you guys feel like checking any of that out then you can go on ahead and feel free but yeah i'm gonna call it there have a good one and peace out